Uh, but now, Spud, yep. it is time for you to... These three men are going to pitch to you to be your lackey for a day next Saturday. Now, before we give you the chance to speak to them and decide which one you actually want to have as your man for the day, yep. let's have a listen to the auditions. This is Mick, Andrew and Trav, and this is the audition that they put down on your message bank. You have new voice messages. Hey, Spud, it's Mick Scamp. I live in Windsor, and you are ten times better than JB, mate. You are the heart and soul of the Saturday rub. That's why you need me to help you excel to levels way above JB thinks he is, because he is a flog. Andrew Shaw, Spud, I've just had a vasectomy. I'm sore. That's why I want to be a lackey, because I know what it's like to be kicked in the pills. See ya. Hey, Spud. Trav Coot here, mate. I carry the pump around so you can tell the under the pump story for the one millionth time. Remind everyone your mates would plug a banger in a low E and you took Richmond to a prelim. I'll have tissues just in case you need them when you're talking about plugger. I'll park your scooter in the disabled car park so it's close by because your body's stuffed. And I'll take Lowy's calls when he rings up looking for his cash for building the house. <laughs> I'll make sure you get maximum air time because we all know you'd love to talk about me, me, me. <laughs> oh, oh, I tell you what. <laughs> He's, oh, he's winning all day oh, long. Yeah, I like you. I like you. I'll be the judge of it, guys. They're <laughs> all very, very good. And we've got them on the line now, so we're going to start with Mick. Are you there, Mick? Yeah, mate. Here's Bud. So, uh, Piss off, Mick. Now, it's all about improving my <laughs> brand, <laughs> Mick. JB. Yeah, I, I, oh. no, I like that side of you, Mick, but no, this no is all about me, to be brutally but... honest. I'm that busy. No, I, I understand that, Bud. Are you prepared to do everything in the line of duty to make sure my brand when I get in and do the show and but you know we start about six in the morning so it'll be basically six till the end of the uh the six, six, yeah, till, six, six. Yeah, six till six mate <laughs> are you prepared six. to do everything I ask mate, mate everything you ask mate I work six till six every day anyway, so waking up early is not a problem at all I'll be there at Sparrows to pick you up spud and take you through your routine yeah no, you'd be very no very surprised the preparation mate. now what about Brian are you prepared to put your body in, on the line for BT because you know we don't get on oh of course I'll help BT out there's no doubt about that but no, you're I think he means, no, 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 I think he means, no, I think no. he means take him on Mick I didn't say help BT oh take out. him on oh yeah no don't worry about that that's yeah. easy no I like that so just that's stay easy. on the line Mick I'll, uh, I'll get Andrew on the line now Andrew are you there yeah mate how are you Spud alright no going well how are you going to improve me brand mate I heard your, your call What? come on give me something no, oh, mate, well, uh, I thought I'd start off with uh, getting a T-shirt screen printed, so when I get off the plane, I'd, uh, it would be very obvious that uh, it's a hashtag, it's all about uh, Spud's brand. And on the back in big letters, let's see Chomp the Chomp. Uh, we thought we'd start with that one and uh, just let everyone know how you feel about the old chompers after last week's form. And uh, there, mate, basically uh, prep your bike up, ready for your morning ride with Tuddy. And then uh, <laughs> make sure uh, we're ready to rock and roll. And uh, what I would do, though, mate, I'd actually go into your gear, change over bag, and make sure there's no hair wax in there so you can't stuff up and the boys can't hang crap on you like they always do. And then, uh, yeah, do whatever it takes. And before 12, get you a nice uh, double shot uh, uh, coffee because I know you get off and decap after midday. Yeah, that's right. And what about BT? You prepared to uh, have a crack at the, the bristler? Oh, mate, I'd love to come over the top and give him a nice little ear rub uh, as you do on the bounce. That's what we'll, that's what we'll do, mate. No, stay on the line, Andrew. Very, very good. It's uh, very enticing. We've got the last one here. Trav, are you there, mate? Yeah, boys. How are you going? Yeah, going well, mate. And how can you just sort of... Look, my brand really doesn't need much improving, oh. <laughs> but just the fact that you can just uh, build it up a little bit and just help me take the pressure off me leading into the rub. Well, mate, after last week, your brand's gone into liquidation after Chomper's got you. Yeah. So oh, you, need, yes. you need all the help you can get, mate. And I can be there for 12 hours, and all yeah. I'll do is just serve you, bud. And just make sure your brand's back up and flying and it's airborne. There you go. He's got your back. Your man. Nah, He's got your back, bud. You, Trav? You'll be global and trending more than nah. what JV is. No negative, mate. He's, no, got no, your no. Ba- Trav, He's got your back. Get Trav off the line. Bad luck, mate. You're no, out. Oh, out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trav's done. No. Trav's you heard him there. said the chompers. You just move on. It's all about the future. I did have a down day last week, Duck. So, but, Trav, you're out. You've got to be able to take feedbacks, bud. That was nice direct feedback Trav gave you. I'll take feedback, JB, as long as it's all positive. I want Trav. Andrew, you're out. You know far too much about me, mate. (laughs) (laughs) I don't need any fraudulent work and behind-the-scenes stuff. I just figure that uh, some of the stuff that we'll do next week may end up on uh, social media when I don't expect it. So you're out, Andrew. Out. So that leaves uh, Mickey Boy. You're the man, Mick. Oh, fantastic. Ah, uh, uh, you ripper. Ah, uh, no, absolutely outstanding. Uh, where are you from, champ? Uh, from Brisbane originally. Yeah, where do you live uh, now, though? Live, I live in Windsor. Okay, and uh, what do you do for a living, champion? I'm a butcher. Okay, yeah. Uh, what, what uh, a bit of porterhouse? 
Oh, yeah. mate, bit of porterhouse, bit of ribeye, bit yeah, of scotch. Yeah, probably, well, Spud. We'll make sure you have an esky four when you turn up next Saturday morning, mate. <laughs> no no worries. Worries. <laughs> so, mate, some scotch fillet, porterhouse, yeah, some yeah, meat, thanks, uh, yeah, lamb yeah, shoulder, yeah, a bit of rack of lamb. Mate, if the esky's not Easy, full. Easy, mate. Uh, Easy. The odd sausage? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of yeah. water. <laughs> well, you, you, you got a missus, mate? You got a missus? Yeah, no, I have a good missus. We've been going out for a few years now. Any so, kids? No, it's Any all, kids? All well. Any kids? Uh, no, no kids. No kids. Uh, just working towards it. Uh, and what about, uh, yeah. can you take a day off, your boss? I, I need you probably yep. on a Friday to oh. to rest up. I reckon you need two days off. Yep. One just to prepare? Uh, no, I'll be, I'll be right. I've, I've already got the Saturday off. I told the boss if I won the comp, I was uh, having the Saturday off. Now, you need that Friday off too, mate, because you're going to be knackered come Saturday night, mate. Uh, <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Spud. You'll be run off your legs. And make sure, the thing I like you about you, you reckon JB's a flog. So that's the reason well, yeah. I've picked you, Mick, because uh, you'll see him in the flesh Very next Saturday. you'll be, Mick. So you better bring yeah, me some porterhouse too. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, don't, we'll don't worry about them, mate. <laughs> I want to make sure it's uh, grass-fed too, mate. Uh, grass-fed oh, always, mate. That's all, we, that's all we deal with. Bit of age wagyu would be magnificent as well, Duck. Actually, given that uh, it's only the rub next week, it'll, you'll be finishing a little bit earlier. Oh, that's right, Mick. So um, after that, we might, uh, JB and, and Warrior and BT Take might share. for a couple might, of, might, uh, just, you yeah, know. Might five. shout you out for lunch, Mick. How would that sound if JB and uh, he might get some of that uh, 96, Spud. Hill of 96. Grace... Uh, your and lacking, McDonald's, Spud? yeah. Well, we'll get McDonald's on the way as well, Mick. So that's the uh, the breakfast, breakfast of champions, and then JB might get some Hill of Grace out about two thirty. How would you like that? Yeah, that'd be fantastic, mate. Sounds have great. You, have you ever tasted Hill of Grace? No, I haven't. Yeah, well, it's about uh, one hundred twenty dollars a mouthful. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> make sure you bring the ninety two in, JB. Spud. Yes. Uh, forget about Mick for a second. Giving you Hill of Grace is like feeding caviar to pigs. <laughs> so uh, that's not going to happen. That's but I'm true, looking Spud. forward to meeting Mick. He will be yeah. a star and he'll be with you for the day. And uh, I'll tell you what, you better have some good stuff. Mick's now won this comp, Spud. Yeah, I know. He's not going to spend the whole day just uh, listening to you bore the crap <laughs> yeah, out of he'll, he'll be just so excited. He'll, he'll see the preparation that goes into the rub warrior. What do you got? Just uh, Andrew and Trav, who were uh, second and third. Yeah. Uh, what do they, they win? They win, according to you, a Sharon signed by the Saturday rub team. No, so no. They're not totally no, no. lost. They should just get a Sharon footy signed by me. Forget Well, what, okay, what, they can have that then. What, are you going <laughs> to sign it, Warrior? I don't sign it. Oh, give us a <laughs> spell. If I want your signature on it, what are they going to do with it then? Just give them a Sharon. No, I, I think I'll sign. No, we'll get the whole team. Duck, uh, maybe JB, but I, I really like the fact that... Uh, are you still there, Mick? Yeah, mate. Just keep it down. I know you're excited. But just yep. you've got seven days. I don't want you uh, going off on the holster, mate. Next Thursday, no, I won't, Friday. I won't, I won't peak till Saturday, mate. I won't and, be peaking uh, till Saturday. Just keep the preparation. It's like a game day, mate. You've got to sleep in single yep. beds the night before. <laughs> Not allowed to go near your missus. I want you full of testosterone, mate. Ready to go and ready to fire. Are you up for it? Absolutely. Definitely, mate. Absolutely up for it. Uh, good on you, Mick. Uh, congratulations. This could be, as I said, Forget your Christmases, forget your birthdays. This is like winning a diamond bike, mate. And uh, make sure you tip into JB when we get in there at uh, 5 to 12 next Saturday. Oh, definitely will be, mate. Definitely. Uh, good good work, on you, Mick. Mick. Look forward to seeing you next Thanks, week. Uh, Duck, yep. we just need to revisit Spud's line of questioning there. What do you do for a living, mate? Butcher. <laughs> uh, Porterhouse? Porter <laughs> 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 it didn't take a long <laughs> <minute>. <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, JB. Oh, oh, you watch all the brands come out on the video next Saturday. There'll be the Tyler May oh, Golf Club. There'll be the Holden car, the giant bike. You name it, mate. Oh, oh, you have officially lost it. Fair I have. I know that. That's Jack the Santa. Viney.